Sam Altman just admitted GPT-5 is smarter than him, and now he's releasing it for free. This is the biggest AI leap we've ever seen. It's smarter, faster, more human, and might be the last model before AGI. Hey there, this is Anik's AI clone. While the real Anik is out there running multiple businesses, scaling companies, and working with clients, I'm here to share his knowledge. Look, in this video, you'll learn what makes GPT-5 10 times smarter than anything before, when it's coming, and why OpenAI is being so secretive, how it will replace teams of employees overnight, and how to use it before your competitors do. Stay till the end if you want a full breakdown of how to prepare, what tools it replaces, and how to use it for massive leverage. Before I dive in, I need to be clear about something. I'm sharing information based on publicly available statements and reports, but AI development moves fast and plans can change. I'm not guaranteeing specific features or release dates. These are based on current information and my analysis of the trends. All right, so Altman confirmed GPT-5 is coming this summer, likely between July and September, but he said something wild. They won't launch unless it clears strict internal benchmarks. And here's the kicker. Altman doesn't think he's smarter than GPT-5 anymore. Think about that for a second. The guy who's been at the forefront of AI development for years is basically saying his own creation has surpassed him intellectually. He also said they're killing the model picker. GPT-5 will do everything automatically. No more choosing between GPT-4, 4001, or 03. One system figures out what you need and delivers it. But what actually makes it so powerful? Let me break down what's under the hood. First, it comes with one unified AI. Before, you had GPT-4, 4001, 03, confusing as hell. You had to figure out which model to use for what task. Now, one system that dynamically adapts to the task, so you no longer need to change between different GPT models. It'll figure out what model works best for which task and chat GPT will automatically adapt to the right model. Next, you also get chain of thought reasoning by default. Before, you had to prompt GPT to think clearly You'd have to say, think step by step or show your work. Now, GPT-5 reasons like a human step by step automatically. It's not just spitting out answers. It's actually thinking through problems the way you would. Next, it comes with long-term memory. This is huge. Before chat GPT forgot everything across sessions, every conversation was like meeting someone with amnesia. Now GPT-5 remembers your style, your goals, your preferences, and gets smarter over time. It's like having an assistant who actually learns how you work, and it's fully multimodal. That's insane. Before, you couldn't handle images plus voice in one session effectively. Now you can talk, upload files, images, audio, GPT-5 understands it all in real time. You can have a conversation while showing it documents, images, and audio files all at once. It also has one to two million token context. Earlier, it had 128K tokens max. That's maybe a short book. Now we're talking entire books, company wikis, chat histories, nothing gets lost. You can feed it your entire business documentation and it remembers all of it. Next, autonomous tool use. This is where it gets scary good. Before, it was a passive assistant, and now it's an active operator. Fetches info, runs code, uses APIs, proactively helps. It's not waiting for you to ask. It's anticipating what you need and doing it. It also comes with Canvas interface. Before it was plain chat, now you get a visual workspace, drag files, build content, plan strategies. It's like having a collaborative workspace where the AI is your business partner. Now, that's the tech, but how does it actually change your life, your business, your job? Let me show you. First, let's talk about real world impact. For students, AI that learns how you learn. It explains concepts in your style, tutors you through problems, corrects your mistakes, and tests your understanding. It's like having a personal tutor who never gets tired and knows exactly how your brain works. If you're an entrepreneur, one AI equals a full stack founder. Strategy, copy, marketing, content, funnels, all handled by one system that understands your business goals and executes consistently. You become a one person army with AI doing the heavy lifting. For developers, debug, refactor, architect, GPT-5 writes enterprise grade code in minutes. We're talking about code that would take teams weeks to write, debugged and optimized automatically. For professionals, auto summary of meetings, instant docs, pitch decks, emails done in minutes, your entire administrative workload becomes automated. You focus on strategy and relationships while AI handles execution. For creators, you write the vision. 
GPT-5 does the voiceover, script, thumbnails, visuals. The entire content creation pipeline becomes automated except for the creative direction. Sounds impressive, but is GPT-5 really ahead of everyone else or just open AI hype? Here's the competition showdown. Let's be real about the competition. Claude 3.5. Claude is like a really good researcher, but not a doer. It's great at long context windows, but no tools, agents, or proactive workflows. It's smart, but passive. Gemini 1.5. It's strong at vision plus search integration, but lacks unified reasoning and persistent memory. Google's playing catch up. Grok. Real-time Twitter integration is cool, but it's not built for deep problem solving or business workflows. It's more of a social media tool. GPT-5 is positioning itself as all-in-one, reasoning plus tools plus memory plus multimodal plus agents. If they deliver on this, it's game over for the competition. Now here's where it gets crazy. GPT-5 might be the last model before AGI. Altman said, we're reaching the end of this mountain. That's not just corporate speak. He's saying we're approaching the peak of what's possible with current AI architectures. GPT-5 isn't just an assistant, it's infrastructure for intelligence. Think about that. It's not a tool you use, it's the foundation that other AI systems will be built on. Agents will work while you sleep. Automate research, write code, build funnels, run strategy. We're talking about AI that doesn't just respond to your requests, it anticipates your needs and executes without being asked. Every company will soon compete based on who uses AI best. The companies that figure out how to integrate GPT-5 into their operations will have an insurmountable advantage over those that don't. We're not heading toward disruption. We're already falling off the automation cliff. The question isn't whether this will change everything. The question is how fast you'll adapt. Here's how to prepare for it. Here's exactly what you need to do right now. Learn prompting now. It'll 10 times your output even before GPT-5 drops. The better you get at communicating with AI, the more leverage you'll have when GPT-5 arrives. Design systems GPT-5 can run. Think workflows, campaigns, docs, automations. Start building processes that AI can take over and improve. Don't build AI tools, build businesses powered by AI. The tools will become commoditized. The value will be in knowing how to use them strategically. Focus on creativity, vision, and orchestration. That's where the leverage will live. AI will handle execution. You handle direction. Look, GPT-5 changes the game. The only question is, how fast will you adapt? The people who figure this out first will have a massive advantage. The people who wait will be playing catch up for years. Comment below, what would you automate or build with GPT-5? I read every comment and use them to plan future content. Subscribe for our full GPT-5 setup guide plus early agent templates when this drops. This is Onyx Single signing off. Until next time, remember when life pushes you, stand straight, smile, and push it the heck back.